Welcome back everyone. I have the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 so let's go and do a full speed comparison that I've been saying that I was going to do for a very long time and I just never got around doing it. Now the iPhone 13 is on the left, the iPhone 12 is on the right and I've already noticed there's a little bit of a difference when you actually set them on a table. There's actually a little difference, not that big of a deal. So let's get into it. So let's open up the phone calls now. I'm going to test everything from the speed to RAM and everything. We'll just kind of get into it. Let's do phone calls 3, 2, 1. Pretty much the same thing, not a big difference here. Let's do music, three, two, one. Kind of the same thing, I mean, we're still loading, so the 13 did load up faster than the iPhone 12. And in terms of gestures, one thing I kind of saw from my first test was that there really wasn't that big of a difference, and there's kind of the same thing here. So that pretty much covers up those tests. Let's go and get into something like, you know, calendar, three, two, one. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one iPhone 13 was the faster one. Now scrolling through, I'm kind of getting the same vibe too. There's not that big of a difference here yet. I was expecting there to be a bigger difference. Let's just go and click into something like, you know, this one, three, two, one. Okay, I kind of clicked on it. Pretty much the same thing. I kind of clicked on it by accident. Let's do their photos, three, two, one. Okay, pretty much the same thing. Let's click into the first section, three, two, one. Pretty much the same thing. Let's click into a photo. I think the 13 was actually a little bit faster. There it was much more noticeable too. Scrolling through here, pretty much going to be the same thing. Hopping out of this one, let's get into camera, three, two, one. Pretty much the same thing. Now let's go and take a photo. So you can see for their night mode, it takes five seconds for the night mode here, but three seconds for the night mode here for the same type of photo, which is very interesting. So let's just go and click into here. So there's been a little bit of an improvement, I think, for night mode. So it's a little bit faster, as you guys can see. So if you're taking a lot of these like awkward shots, that's kind of something like this, then you're going to get a better experience on the iPhone 13. At least it's going to be faster. Apple TV, three, two, one. A little bit of a glitch on the iPhone 12, and they're both on iOS 15 too, so kind of saw something very interesting there, but it did load up, I think, faster on the iPhone 12. Let's get into settings, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 12 was actually faster there, which is very interesting. Let's do clock, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing too, not that big of a difference. And that pretty much covers it up for these applications. Let's go and hop into another app, which is a bunch of these third-party applications that I have on both. So let's go here, and let's go here. So let's go and open up Snapchat, three, two, one. Now I am logged in here, so I am logged out here, so I knew that wasn't going to work out that well. Let's go and get into TikTok. Let's do Netflix, three, two, one. 13 was a little bit faster there. Let's, let's do thank you, three, two, one. And the iPhone 13 was the faster one there just by a little bit. So let's get into some gameplay, and I think we're going to be roughly around the same. And this is one thing I've been kind of seeing. There's a little bit of a difference. There's not really that big of a difference as I thought. The biggest difference I saw was night mode, to be honest, for the cameras. Let's go and do Snake for Splocks 3, 2, 1. Okay, iPhone 13 I think was the faster one still. Gameplay-wise, I think we're probably going to be in the, you know, roughly around the same ballpark. And you can see yeah, pretty much the same thing. There's not that big of a difference, but 13 was able to load into it faster. Let's go and do stack, three, two, one. And the third and the 12 was actually a little bit faster there, which is very surprising. Hopping out of that, let's go and get into Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And the 12 might actually be it did actually load up into this panel faster than this one. So very, very interesting. I was not expecting that. That's honestly a very strange thing. Too many pop-ups here, so I'm just going to go and hop out of this one. Let's do Facebook, three, two. I don't have a Twitter, three, two, one. About the same thing, not a big difference. Instagram, let's not do that one. Let's do Temple Run, two, three, two, one. And it does look like they were almost identically the same. So there are a lot more similarities I'm seeing here than differences. And is that a big deal? It's totally up to you. But just from the few apps that I've tested, I haven't really been able to see that big of a difference. Now let's get into Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. Now I don't know if I have to download anything. Hopefully I have to do the same thing on both. So we did get a little bit of a pop-up here. And then we got it. I don't know what just happened here. So I guess we have to update this game. So let me go ahead and update it into the background. And let's go ahead and actually hop out of here. And let's go and make our way over to our app store here. And let's go and update the same exact game and see if there's a difference. So let me go and hop here. So we are up to date on the iPhone 13. So let's just go ahead and wait until this one is updated. And we will go back into it. And we'll go ahead and do the same exact test. So let me go and close out of it there.
Okay, so there we go. So we were both updated. The apps are closed out in the background. So let me go and click open from here. Three, two, one. And now let's see what happens. So they should theoretically be on the same version. They all should be good to go and everything. Now you can see the iPhone 13 is still doing better. And to give you some perspective, I've played this game on the iPhone 12 so many times, it's not even funny. It could be because this phone just updated to this game. That could be why this one is much slower. I don't think you're going to be seeing this big of a difference between these two games every single time. But, you know, it is very interesting that there was this big of a difference already. So clicking here, I'm sure there's not going to be that big of a difference in terms of gameplay. But that was one thing I immediately saw. I was not expecting there to be that big of a difference right there. Now, let's go ahead and go back into our, you know, RAM management panel. And let's go back to the first, you know, application that we actually opened, which was, I guess, the App Store or music for both. So let's go and get into it. Three, two, one. And both kept in the background, but the iPhone 13 did restart that, which doesn't really make too much sense to me. Now let's go back into the beginning again, and let's go and do it once more. So let's do the phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, both kept that open, which is, I guess, okay for the most part. And let's go back into it in the beginning with. Let's go and do this one, three, two, one. Exact, exactly the same thing. So we're not really seeing that big of a difference yet. We have some pretty big games in the background. We have some pretty big things. So let's just keep going. Photos, three, two, one. So the iPhone 12 did just restart. The iPhone 13 was able to keep that photo in the background, but the iPhone 12 you guys saw did actually restart from it. So not that big of a deal, but you know, they have the same amount of RAM. So that was actually kind of interesting. Now let's get into the cameras, three, two, one. It doesn't look like either one restarted or it looks like both of them restarted, to be honest. I don't really know how the camera app works that well. So let's go back in the beginning with. Let's go and do there. This one, TV, three, two, one. Exactly the same thing. Scrolling through here, not really seeing that big of a difference. The 13 did look like to be scrolling a little bit better. So let's go back into the beginning with again. Let's do Apple News, three, two, one. And the iPhone 13 actually restarted here. So very interesting. We're so we're seeing some flip-flopping going between both. The iPhone 12 was a little bit faster. Now the iPhone 13 is a little bit faster. So this snake versus blocks ended up loading into this one fine. And the iPhone 13 did actually restart this one. So that's very interesting. I was not expecting there to be this big of a RAM difference. So the iPhone 12 has restarted one time. The iPhone 13 has restarted twice already. And these are on the most recent version of software. We are months into the release of the iPhone 13 for this to still be happening. It's kind of strange. Let's do settings, three, two, one. Okay, both of them kept that up. Now I just want to keep going because this is a very strange thing that's going on right now. Let's go and get into clock through two. Let's go and get into clock through two one. Okay, pretty much the same thing. The speed wasn't that big of a difference. Now I'm going to skip Snapchat because I was logged into one and I wasn't in the other. So let's go and get into Netflix three two one. Okay, both are fine here. So let's go back into it. And it just takes so long to get back into one of these apps. So let's do thank you three two one. Okay, they both restarted. I think the iPhone thirteen is going to be faster to get into it. And it was just a little bit. So they both restarted there. So that's totally understandable. So let's keep going. Let's go back into this one. Let's keep going back into this one. Three, two, one. They both restarted here too. So totally understandable. If they both restart, that's okay. But the iPhone 13 really hasn't been doing all that well. You know, it's restarted twice where the iPhone 12 only restarted one time. So let's go back into Temple Run 2. Three, two, one. Okay, they both restarted. So they're both restarting now, but it was very strange at the beginning with that the iPhone 12 was only restarting one time where the iPhone 13 restarted it twice already. So in my opinion, I wasn't expecting the iPhone 13 to restart at all, to be honest. And now they're restarting at the same time, but there really isn't under you know any point why the iPhone 12 was able to keep that in, app in the background where the iPhone 13 wasn't. So ultimately what I'll tell you is the iPhone 12 slightly slower than the iPhone 13 after this kind of full speed test. Pretty much everything you're going to do is going to be slightly faster on the iPhone 13, but RAM management is the same, if not worse, on the iPhone 13. From my test that I did, it looks like the 13 just isn't as good at RAM management as a whole as the iPhone 12. And like I mentioned, we are months into this release. iOS 15.2 is coming out today or tomorrow, whenever. This is currently on 15.1.1 or 15.1. We're months into the release, so it still shouldn't be doing that in my opinion. So. In terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.